Cody and in this video I'm going to be doing a um, how to make this skateboard ramp slash kicker here so let's get started so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a four foot by four foot piece of plywood and what you're going to do with that is cut the plywood in half so you're going to have one four foot by two foot piece which is going to be the top what you're going to skate on and then you'll have to cut it in the other half into these two triangles so one will be two foot high by four foot long and same with the other and you should be able to get that out of a two foot by four foot piece of wood and then you're also going to need lots of screws and two by fours you i think you're going to need about two eight foot two by fours if i'm correct um, if you want a more detailed video like a video where i go into more detail on this i can make one so the two by fours will be spaced out under here so here I'll show you how to get started. So what you're going to want to do first is cut your wood, cut the two by fours, and they're going to be two foot wide. And then you're going to want to start drilling or screwing. You don't really need to drill holes. You can just screw the screws right in. You're going to have to screw this together with a two by four back here. And you're going to need all up along there. You don't have to use the exact number I did, but you can if you want. And then after you've done with that and those will be screwed on like on the sides here and then the piece that goes on top you screw it into the two by fours not the side because it won't come out long enough but if it does you can well actually i recommend screwing into two by fours if as if you screw into this you might split the wood and you don't need any screws in the middle because it has the two by fours under there and it's going to have enough strength and then that down here there's a big like gap that you your skateboard wheel and you're gonna roll over coming up and you can use sheet metal for this what i used is hardboard not cardboard but hardboard and it's basically a type of wood that's made up of uh lots of like wood particles and you don't want to get this wet you don't really want to get any of it wet but you can put sealant on this and but this you don't want to get it wet it'll just disintegrate and what i did do is sand it down here so there's pretty much no like bump when you go over it and same with this side and then yeah so that's pretty much how to make it but you can screw that the hardboard on there and now let's get to testing it and it works with it works with pretty much anything you want to go take over it really like skateboarding scooters i don't know it might work with biking it probably would but i don't really recommend riding the bike over this thing and then it, yeah so now let's get to seeing how it works. Okay, so to wrap up this video, the total cost of this thing is going to be around 30 to 35 bucks, depending on where you get your supplies, and that prices without any tools you will need drills to screw in all these screws unless you want to do them by hand which would take days and then you will um, need saws and if you want to do it like you don't really need a sander because that would work without and so basically that's how much it'll be but you're gonna need saws you're gonna need a drill you're gonna need well the screws are calculated in the price and then you can well you probably would have sandpaper I imagine but uh, you would need sandpaper as well and it would help if you had some type of measuring device so you basically would have to have the supplies to build it but that's how much it would cost to build approximately depending on where you live and what the prices are at that time and so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of me in videos like this in the future subscribe to my youtube channel so i will see you all in the next video